What's up, YouTube? It's a wonderful, beautiful day in the Ozarks. It's, you know, just like, it's it's still hot, but you can tell that fall is on the way. Like, you can just, there's, there's a smell in the air. Some of you people know what I'm talking about. But anyways, it's been a long time since I've made a video. A lot of things have changed. So let's go check it out. Let's go see, uh, let's go see what's changed. For starters, my kid quit baseball, which I think is kind of crazy. Can't believe he quit baseball because he's been playing it forever and he loves it and he's really good at it. But he's decided he wants to race motocross, so I don't I guess things got more expensive. Either way, as long as he's having fun, it's something I really enjoy, something he really enjoys. So um you know, maybe he'll bring us closer. It's father and son. Special. Kemper's first race was supposed to be yesterday. But we didn't get to do it because they canceled the night before due to flooding, which is absolutely crazy because it's been a drought for like a month and a half. Like second cutting hay, for most people, isn't even going to happen. And for those who did, they got basically nothing. But the good news is the race next week, no, the next week will be for double points. So it's basically like you race twice with only really having to race once. So good i sold the old bush hog that used to sit here because thanks to covid everything sells for really high prices like extremely ridiculously high prices so uh i sold a broken bush hog for 1500 bucks what do you know i went out and bought a 20,000 pound dual tandem axle gooseneck so that i could haul frank around on it so maybe i could do some work right but i couldn't afford the trailer so instead i sold frank so, Frank is gone. Kind of sad. But, I still got the deer, and so, if it feels like going for a ride or something, I can load it up in the trailer, it'll fit, we can go drive around, you know, he can hang his tongue out the window and, you know, feel like a good puppy. And, I sold the old Tri-Z, you know, I kind of figured I'd keep it forever, but COVID prices, I was able to sell it for like five times what I bought it for. So, you know, that was able to help me to kind of start on something that I've been really wanting to do. Which was buy some more yellow paint. What are you cows looking at? On top of high prices for used things and used equipment and old stuff, COVID also took the life of my job, which, you know, sucks. But at the same time, it wasn't the company's fault that my job died. You know, I love the people that I worked for, the people that I worked with. It was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, but it has given me the opportunity to move on and do something different. A good friend of mine called me when I was scared and looking for a job. And so now I get to operate equipment on a daily basis which is a lot of fun. It's something I really enjoy, something my granddad did. So um, anyways, that being said, where I work, we run cat equipment. And as much as I'm a green tractor guy through and through, I've kind of become a cat heavy equipment. What do you, what'd you call it? A lover of cat equipment? It's fantastic. I found myself last year, last summer anyways, with a lot of free time on my hands because I was laid off for basically the entire summer. And I found myself trying to figure out ways that I could make money on my own, a way that maybe I could start my own business, whether it be farming, um, you know, small farming with like chickens or eggs or, you know, vegetables, some kind of crop, something, you know, I wanted to do something. And so I kind of messed around with a lot of different ideas. But one thing that I've always really enjoyed is tractors and equipment. It kind of started out after I'd started my job, my new job at Kreiner Excavation, I started thinking about wanting to have a new bush hog. And I was thinking of how am I going to pay for it? Well, my buddy decided, you know, or as I was talking to my buddy, he was telling me, man, if you want something, and you can't afford it, you need to figure out a way to have that pay for itself. 
if you can offset the cost a little bit by doing some work, you know, say I start doing some bush hog jobs and that pays me a little extra money and then I can cover payments so I can get the things that I want. So I thought about that for a while and I realized that what I'd really like to do is land clearing, bringing back, you know, other people's fields and stuff like that. I've loved mowing grass since I was a little kid. I've loved cleaning out fence rows and, and fixing stuff, you know, just just bringing the beauty back to something. So I thought, what if I started a side business where I'm maybe brush hogging, land clearing, beautifying, you know, farmland. And I thought, what about doing some forestry mulching as well? You know, I can use my skid steer for all kinds of stuff, just moving trees, knocking trees down, moving them, cleaning up, making burn piles, stuff like that. The forestry mulching would be a great addition to that. But with Frank, I couldn't do that with Frank. Frank was kind of a piece of junk. <laughs> Frank didn't want to start six months out of the year because it was a little too cold. And Frank was pretty well wore out. So I started thinking, I'm going to need a new skid steer. And really my plan was to buy a used skid steer and a used mulcher and go out and start trying to mulch and clear and just do whatever I can because I want to keep my costs down. Well, the thing about mulching is you're going to need a fairly new machine. You can't have you can't have an old wore out machine and expect to go out and make money and then have have that cover your $8,000 repairs you know, once a month because, you know, because you have a broke down pile of junk, <laughs> basically. So I've gone out on a huge limb and purchased a brand new 2021 Cat 289 D3. I can grade yards, I can move trees, I can grade driveways, fix things, you know, just about anything that I need to do, I can do with this, you know, to an extent. So without further ado, let's check this thing out. At the time, I ordered the last one in existence. So for all you guys who are waiting, I'm sorry. I got some forestry boots and stuff. A little boot to keep it from catching on fire up here, which doesn't mean it won't catch on fire from what everybody says. They put, you know, rubber strips all around the outside to try and keep it from getting any type of debris in it but it's still going to get full of debris from what i hear 75 horsepower caterpillar diesel it's got all the little guards and stuff inside of here to hopefully keep from burning it to the ground turbo guards and things like that really don't want to burn this thing to the ground she's got counterweights wide tracks cab with air conditioning that will absolutely freeze you out Heated air ride seat. Makes beepy noises. You can see I've played with it for a little while. Done a little bit of grading, a few things like that. There's a mirror. You don't need it. Backup camera. Got a Bluetooth radio with a microphone so I don't have to worry about missing any of those phone calls about my car warranty or getting one of those life alert devices. fantastic for being able to get out here and turn the mulch pile you know I think everybody should go buy themselves one of these just so they can turn their mulch pile with rocks in it because it's Arkansas they grow rocks so we're growing them in our mulch pile as well this thing's ridiculously fast Water. you can literally throw rocks from the bucket into your window it's crazy fast. I don't know if you've operated any of the new Caterpillar equipment, but it's just, it's stupid fast. I mean, this is, this is an idle.
Oh yeah, and they got this new door that opens, well, almost all the way. Instead of, you know, like right here where you gotta crawl out to the side. I'm digging that. Well, that's it guys. I decided I wanted to start a business. I want to start a business that maybe I could pass down to my kids, make them self-sufficient, find something in the world that, that people need, or at least they need around here, and, um, and be part of it. Find a need and fill it. So since I didn't have the money to just do stuff, I went ahead and I sold Frank, because I mean, COVID times, money's ridiculous on, on everything. It makes no sense. Um, trailers are like three or four times what they're what they're worth but i did find a good friend that had one for sale and um he made me a good deal on it i mean considering the prices and the way things are right now he uh i think he did good and he did me really good as well um but i had to get rid of frank I sold it for three times what i paid for it um sold the tri-z for five times what i paid for it got rid of the jet ski a few other things bush hog just started taking assets that i had and turn them into money so that way i'd have you know kind of a foot in the door and a way to be able to kind of cover myself until i can make a name for myself and be able to go out and and do you know more consistent work got a drum mulcher coming for this thing for next weekend so we're going to get it out go out and eat some trees clear some land let you guys see what it looks like what it's you know what it's all about so make sure you guys don't miss that video remember to pound that like button and subscribe thanks for watching and god bless check you later yuck bro thing is huge almost walked into it twice i don't think it hurt me but i don't like spiders <laughs> Sneak attack from the backside. Ah!